Hello, I created this video to share with you how you can create a professional Twitter background that allows you to promote your profile or your business. When you first get started with Twitter, you're going to have a background like what you see on the screen right now. It's pretty bland, not much going on. Notice there's not much color. So Twitter gives you the chance to change the different colors on it, but if you want a professional background that has more information about you, then you can create one through some tools that are available to you. Let me show you an example of somebody who has created a background. You see right here that right now Sammy Simpson here is displaying all his information. He gives a little bit more about himself. He gives his website, his blog, some social networking sites. So you can see how a professional background can really change the look of your page and when somebody comes and looks at your profile they'll get to know more about you than what they just see over in this little area. So how do we create this background? Well what we do is we go to a site called twitbacks.com. So when you first get started all you do is get started here. You put in your username, an email address, and then put in a password this is your first time just create one we have to fill in the capture image and then we continue okay first thing that we want to do is choose our background here you have various different templates if you have your own picture that you want to put as your background this is where you can do that now we scroll down I'm gonna choose a template that I liked down here you can just when you log in to look at all the various templates I choose this one. If you want to see a bigger picture, just click on View Sample. And now you see a bigger picture of what's going to get displayed. If you have a logo, you're going to be able to put it there or your picture, and vice versa, top and bottom. And you'll see how in a second. So let's fill in the information. Fill in my name. If you have a company name that you want to promote, you can add it there. Your website. If you have a blog, you can add that in there as well. Next, you can write about yourself. Here you have a chance to give more than 140 characters about yourself. So write all that you want that other, for others to know about you. As an example, we'll say, I enjoy playing basketball and networking with others. All right. I mentioned if you had any logos, you can go ahead and add them here. You can just browse, and then it'll let you select the picture that you want to put in. There is a size limit to these. If you notice, it must be less than 2 megs, and in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format. Same thing here if you want a personal photo. Now, here you have the option of displaying it below or above your About section. Same thing for this. If you have your phone, you want to have people call you, here's where you can put your number. Same thing with your email. Even though it's required, you do not have to display it on your background. Next, you have the chance to fill in various different social networking uh, profile information. So let's say MySpace. I have, this is my MySpace. MySpace.com. If you have YouTube, include that. If you have other links, you're, you have the chance to put up to four more websites here. So we're going to use a couple of the other ones that I have, just so you can see how that works. Then you just control what font you want. You can choose any of these fonts. It's kind of limited. Then the size that you want, your content width, how big you want it. And then once again, we fill in this capture page and continue. Okay, at this point you have a few options. See, now you can kind of see what your background looks like. You could download the twit back and upload it yourself personally. You can edit your twit back if you're logging in again. They have an option to promote your Twitter profile which costs some money. And then upload to Twitter instructions if you want to upload it yourself. So let's say we want to let 
Twitbacks uploaded for us. So we click here to automatically post to our background. Okay, we give our password to log into Twitter. Next, if you want them to post a tweet that you created your background with Twitbacks, this is where it'll happen. I'm just going to deselect it. So now we're going to post it. All right, it says it was uploaded. Let's see. This was our background before we created it. Now we do a refresh. And there it is. There's my name, a little bit about me, my websites, information on my profiles. And all of a sudden, I now have a professional background to promote to others. So this shows you how you can easily create a Twitter background in just a few minutes.